giant brainwave, solar panels on the roof. Uh, hi, come in. Oh, a carpet picnic, how fun. What's your deal? Eli and I are not your project, but you like him and he likes you. Why are you being so pushy about this? I'm just trying to help. It's not my fault that you're too stupid to see that you have a great guy who likes you right under your nose. Well, since I'm so stupid, you can finish the mini house by yourself. A plus, here we come. I'm so sorry I was mean to you last night. I shouldn't have pushed you and Eli together. It's fine. I get it. You don't want to hang out with me anymore. What? No, that's not it at all. I'm not trying to get rid of you. It's just, we have so much in common and we've been through so much in such a short period of time. It's overwhelming. And whatever happens with Eli, it's not gonna change us. Oh, I love your hugs. And I like intense friendships. That's why we get A pluses. Should I tell her? Mm, I want to tell her. Hey, somebody tell me. Well, um, me and Eli had a talk, the talk, and it turns out we really needed that kick in the pants you gave us. We're going on a date. Ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm so happy for you guys. Isn't this what you wanted? Yeah. My two best friends. <laughs> Yay. Yay. I feel comfortable talking to you about anything. <laughs> of course, it's OK. But I really think you should give Eli another chance. We both know he's an amazing guy. Did you hear that? Let's go. It's time to strike. Cool. Are we on a mission? Rumor is Katie has a little pill problem and now she's missing school for rehab. Wow, and we didn't even have to do anything. We've been waiting patiently since Katie and Marisol backstabbed us and now the useless cheerleader jock student council is ripe for the taking. <sighs> End of semester event. We do? You know. So, now what? We'll think of something. And in the meantime, maybe a little online shopping at lunchtime. Oh, you always know how to make me feel better. It's a gift. I'm Italian. Ciao. <laughs> when are you two going to make out already? <laughs> yeah, I wish. I mean, what? Oh, sh sh shut up. I was joking. Are you blushing? No, I'm not. You're crazy. Oh, my God. You have a crush on her. I set you and Imogen up, remember? I like her as a friend. And besides, she'd never return the feelings, so just drop it. Doors open. I brought paints, markers, stencils, and enough bristle board to cover the entire school. Please tell me what we're making signs for. OK, Simpson gave us the go ahead to hold a holiday carnival. A festival of frost? No. A frostable <laughs> with cotton candy, pony rides, a carousel? Sure, why not? A Ferris wheel? Please. Oh my god, oh my god, please don't let me wake up and have this be a dream. You are the best. <laughs> well, we have a lot of signs to make. Damn, do we ever? We might be here all night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, and throwing money around to impress your little girlfriend. Hey. What? Oh, no, sorry. We're working. Yeah, bye. <laughs> you know, this year would have been painful without you. I'm glad you're on my side. So was there any truth to what Marisol said? I'm not going to apologize for using my money. No. I mean what she said about impressing me, which you are. Mailing, by the way. <laughs> well, all I know is that I want to buy her lots of nice things. I've sold every last ticket. We need more. Hey, I know you, Holly J. I'm just back for the holidays. From you. And she was just leaving. <laughs> I will see you later. Good luck. <laughs> 
Okay, so I drew up blueprints. Here is the Ferris wheel carousel carnival games along with the generators and electrical drops. It looks great, Imogen. It's great. Well, I mean, you put up so much of your own money to make this the most mind-blowing festival ever. Imogen. <laughs> Next term, you and I will rule the school together. Is everything okay? Of course. Show must go on. <laughs> what about Imogen? I'll save the straight girl I have a crush on a whole bunch of trouble. She'll thank me someday. There are more important things in life than a stupid carnival, okay? Why are you yelling at me? And why are you packing? It's just a lot of things going on with me that you don't know about. You can tell me anything. My family's in serious trouble. For the first time in my life, I'm broke. Okay. Well, you still have your health. It's not funny. I'm just trying to look on the bright side. There is no bright side. I came back to Degrassi to prove myself, but I got bullied out of student council. My marks are mediocre. The carnival's a bust. What? I, I failed. So tomorrow I'm moving back to New York. You should just go. Fine. Run away, be a quitter. Way to the freak show. Right here. I started to think you were avoiding me. I tried, but I suck at it. <laughs> this is better than I imagined. How did you do it? I sold my things. Wow. And now that I've downsized, I feel liberated. Like for the first time in my life, I can do anything. I always imagined you could do anything. Now, don't you dare ask me to go on the carousel with you. Oh, okay. Reverse psychology. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is uh, great. It's just great. Are you as scared as I am? Probably. I've never been a fan of heights. It's not the heights I'm scared of. OK, Imogen, in case I die on this thing, there's something I need to tell you. OK. I... I want your name next to mine. Ever since the first week of school, I've had this silly schoolgirl crush on you, and I can't seem to make it go away, which is a big reason why I thought moving to New York would be for Kuna. I wanted to do that for so long. I, I don't know what it means. I hope it means that you like me. Could I be more obvious? But you're leaving forever, which really, really, really sucks. Well, what if I'm not? Me. <laughs> Look at you two all holding hands. <laughs> Ooh, cotton. <laughs> well, new attitude, new love life. Next semester's gonna be a hoot. <laughs> what more would you expect?